Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookman here with another old school routine featuring Reg Park. Today I'll be talking about Reg Park's approach to developing a chest like a Roman gladiator. As Reg Park said, the trick is to develop the upper chest to its fullest potential, whilst not overdeveloping the lower chest. This was a very coveted look back in the golden era, and when I discovered the exercises that Reg Park and his contemporaries used to develop the upper chest, I realized that the exercises used back then to achieve that look were rather different than today's typical chest workout, which would usually consist of the bench press, the incline bench press, dumbbell flies, and dips. Listed here is Reg Park's upper chest program, which consists of the following four exercises. The wide grip bench press, the flat bench dumbbell press, the bent arm dumbbell fly, and incline bench presses. Further, Reg recommended to use as heavy a poundage as possible and to only perform four sets of a relatively low rep range of six to eight reps. Clearly, this workout worked wonders for Reg, as is evident in this awesome photo of Reg displaying his marvellous chest. Just look at that, it's fantastic. The wide grip bench press is to be performed in the following manner. You want to lie on a bench, grabbing a barbell, that is a barbell that is at least six foot in length, and you want to have your hands right up against the collars, and you can clearly see this in the image. Notice how Reg uses a very, very wide grip. This is uh, bringing the, um, the bar down in such a wide grip is going to help stimulate the pec shoulder tie-in. And so you want to lower that weight to the chest and press the arm's length. Again, using a weight that you can handle for four sets of six repetitions. Next is the flat bench dumbbell press. But again, Reg Park performs this exercise in a very particular fashion. He grabs two dumbbells, lies on the flat bench with the arms extended over his chest. And as he brings the bells down, he actually brings them down to shoulder level by bringing his elbows out to the side. And in doing so, he hits the upper chest. Most of us would bring the dumbbells down towards the middle of the chest. But by bringing, the, by bringing his elbows all the way out to the side, the movement essentially becomes very similar to a wide grip barbell bench press. And therefore, it allows him to hit the upper chest. Then, of course, he brings the uh, bells back up by pressing up overhead and um, throughout the movement he also ensures to keep the chest high again it's going to help stimulate the upper chest you want to use uh, a poundage that you can perform four sets of six repetitions for this particular exercise now the bent arm laterals follow and you can immediately observe two things when we see these photos first Reg is bending the elbows and employing what is called the cheating principle in that his arms are not being kept straight, allowing him to handle serious poundage. Now, the reason why it's still considered back then at least the, a cheating exercise, that is the bent arm dumbbell lateral, is because back then it was common practice to keep your arms straight and as soon as you start bending the elbows, it's considered uh, to be using the cheating principle. However, it allows you to use a maximum poundage and that was the whole point that Reg was trying to make in this particular routine. You want to use heavy poundage for a low rep range. You want to grab two moderately heavy dumbbells, a lie on a bench, arms extended over chest and bending at the elbows you want to bring the dumbbells out to the side and back and this is the second important thing we notice in these photos is how low Reg actually brings those elbows down he doesn't just bring them out to the side but he brings them back and down and as he does he actually breathes in real deep as he lowers those dumbbells and of course as he brings the bells back up you exhale as you return the dumbbells to the starting position again you want to choose uh, some dumbbells with a poundage that you can handle for four sets of eight repetitions for this particular exercise the incline dumbbell bench press is the last exercise listed in this program. You want to grab two dumbbells, lie on an incline bench with your arms extended over your chest, and you want to low lower those dumbbells to shoulder level again. Very important to keep those elbows out with all of these exercises because it's going to help hit the upper chest. And then you want to press back to the starting position. Now, once again, Reg does state, states in this particular article that I read, uh, which this video is based on, 
uh, that you want to go as heavy as possible. Note, he says note, that Clancy Ross could handle two 160 pound dumbbells. Just think about that back then. Two 160 pound dumbbells on this exercise is incredible. And even Reg says that at least you should have a goal of using two 100 pound dumbbells in this movement. Wow. And you want to you want to use the dumbbells, you want to use a weight, sorry, that you can handle um, for four sets of six repetitions. Incredible. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video on Reg Park's old school upper chest routine for developing a chest like a Roman gladiator. If you have enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe and check out the other videos on the Old School Labs YouTube channel. And as always, remember to keep it old school. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.